Hello everyone, welcome to the Scratch lesson video where I'm going to be going over week one, both for core and deep dive. The game of the month for January is called Avoid and is a fun game where you're trying to avoid getting taken by these zombies. So your objective is to try to survive as long as possible and rack up as much score as you can while you're playing. So we're going to go ahead and start creating this game from scratch. So we're going to start off by going into scratch, clicking on create. Uh, once it loads up the regular scratch project that's empty for us, we're going to go ahead and rename this game. So for right now, I'm just going to call it avoid, which is what uh, the original game name is. However, uh, if you guys don't want to name it that you guys can go ahead and call it something else. Once you're done doing this, the next step we're going to take is we're going to go to the original sprite one that's already been given to us. We're going to rename this as our player. And then we're going to go inside of the costume. So for this, we do not need a costume two. So we're going to go ahead and delete this. And the costume one, once we have our selection tool selected, we're going to also delete it. So the main thing that we want to make sure is that this game, uh, kind of depending on how you guys want to do it, but for the best looking one, you'll want to do that top down view that we did, uh, I believe two games ago. Uh, so the idea of top down is again, you're looking at it from a bird's eye view. Uh, so it makes it a little bit easier for you to actually play the game uh, and make it uh, a little bit understandable for other people who are also playing it as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to make a simple character. And to do this, we're going to use our circle tool. Uh, it's kind of up to you if you want to use an outline or not. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and change my color to something that I want. Once I have my color, I'm going to go ahead and make a circle. And I'm going to put it in the center. This is going to be my character's um, head, if you think about it that way, if I'm looking at it from a top perspective. Uh, next, I'm going to give my character's shoulders. Uh, so I'm going to use my rectangle tool, and I'm going to change the color, and I'll pick something as if my player is using a shirt. And I'm going to go ahead and make a rectangle over it. Once I'm happy with it, I'll also put it in the center and then I'll move it back. So once I moved it back, I can even use my reshape tool. I can click on the box and on the sides. I'm just going to go ahead and lift this up uh, just so that it makes it look a little bit more like actual shoulders. Okay. Uh, for more added stuff, I'm going to make a box. And it's not going to come out too much, but uh, again, to make it from a top down, the idea is that the top part is a little bit bigger and the bottom part is a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to grab the corners and kind of move them in a little bit closer. And I'll also move this back as well. And I'll move this just a little bit forward as if that's the body for my character. Uh, you guys can go ahead and continue changing this as much as you want. So I'll make this a little bit smaller just so that the shoulder doesn't look like it's coming out too much. Okay. Uh, and then the, the next part is kind of up to you. But if you want to give your player uh, hands, you can also do that as well. Uh, you can then go ahead and go with the brush tool and start adding any details that you may want, whether that's hair for the player, uh, maybe some extra details uh, for the shoulder and stuff. So, for example, uh, maybe because this is supposed to be uh, sort of like a jacket, I'll go ahead with my brush tool, lower the number uh, and maybe pick a different color or maybe a lighter color. And I can go ahead and just make little lines. Okay. And this kind of acts like stitching. So I can do that. Uh, maybe like I said, again, I, I might want to add hair. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll add some hair for my player. Okay. 
making sure that I'm connecting the line so that it's completely closed. And then I can use my paint and bucket tool to fill it in. Okay. And you can see I'm adding more and more stuff to my player. I can add eyes, maybe a mouth. Uh, maybe if I want them to hold a weapon, I can do that as well. Uh, so once you're done, take your time kind of doing everything that you need for your player. And then we're going to go ahead and code it.